uh, my name's Eric and today we're going to be looking at Shopify collections uh, and seeing how you can use them to better organize your Shopify store. Uh, so we're going to be using uh, this demo store that I've set up. So it's a fake record store which is going to sell some of the best records in town at the cheapest prices. Um, and we're going to be basically adding a few collections uh, and showing uh, you how to do that and then uh, adding them to uh, the Dawn theme which I've just got set up with most of the boilerplate stuff. We'll, we'll be removing a lot of this stuff and just adding a few sections. This is not a, by any means, a design um, uh, video. There are a lot more qualified people than that out there. Um, although we might do that for another one. Uh, this is just gonna be more showing you how to set up the collections in the back end and how quickly you can kind of get up and running. Um, so I guess the first question is why would you use Shopify collections. Um, just like in a normal retail store, as consumers, we like when shops organize their products. So for example, in a supermarket, you've got shelves which categorize items by brand or kind of like similar products. Um, or even in like a normal record store, um, you know, you would go and you would see all the records on shelves categorized by genre. Uh, and that just makes the shopping experience much more pleasant. Um, and if you've ever been in a shop where uh, it's kind of been a mess, it's quite a, it's quite a frustrating a shopping experience uh, to find what you're looking for. Um, if you're more of a, if, you're, if you prefer like kind of reading along or you want something to follow along, um, I'll link the blog post that I've written about this as well, which has screenshots of what we're gonna be talking about. Um, but to be honest, I'm a, more of a video visual learner, so I prefer videos, but this is here. Uh, if you need. Um, so uh, with the, the preamble out of the way, let's jump into the Shopify backend. So what we're first going to do is uh, head to our products tab on the left side. Um, I've actually already set up a lot of the, the records and, and the products that we're selling um, and I've given them a product type already. Uh, so the records I've given the product type of records, but we do sell some other things like accessories and turntables to actually play your, your records. So what we're going to do is we're going to first, uh, for our first collection uh, that we're going to set up, we're going to go to our turntables. Uh, so I'll search project, um, this one here. And if you are in the market for a record player, I can recommend it. I actually don't have this exact model, but a similar one back at home. Um, so. Once we're in the product, uh, we're gonna head to the organization, um, product organization and click type. Um, and we're gonna search record player or turntable. Let's see what comes up. Uh, turntable and record player. So Shopify have done us a, a solid massive favor and have already categorized, created like categories for us. Um, if yours doesn't come up, you can just add a custom type. As so we'll click save. Cool, and then we'll go back and we'll find the Technic. We'll add this as well. Turntables and record plays, cool. Great. So now that we've uh, added the type, um, we can then head to collections, um, which is also underneath the product tab here. And then you can see that I've already select, um, uh, created a few collections here. So we'll create one more for another product type. So create collection, um, turntables as the name. Um, oh, let's think of something. Some uh, a turntable to play. Choose a. <laughs> play your favorite records. Um, we can add an image here. So I've got one here already. Um, give it a second to upload. And then um, down here, uh, we can either choose uh, a manual collection or an automated collection. So um, most of the time, I think you're gonna wanna use an automated collection, but a manual collection basically, so a manual collection is you just basically select which product you want. So I want product A, B, C, and D uh, in this collection, and then you drag them in. Um, whereas an automated collection looks at like conditions, I think um, you can have up to 60. And it will be like, if a product matches this condition, add it to this collection automatically. And likewise, if it doesn't match it anymore, automatically remove it. So in our case, we, can use, we, we could have just added these two turntables in manually, but 
in a store where you know you you may be getting a lot of stock in so for example with us a lot of different records it's probably best to use an automated collection although in this case if we are only selling two turntables and we know we're not really going to get any new ones in uh, a manual collection could work but we'll just stick with an automated one so product tag is equal to turn product sorry type um, is equal to turntable and then if we click save um, we can see that our two turntables are automatically added there's some SEO stuff underneath here um, so to be honest uh, if I was creating a proper website I would probably think about um, the collection name a bit better and the description a bit better just because Google's going to use that to um, uh, rank rank this page um, so that's that um, we'll head now back to our products and we're going to create another collection uh, but instead of using the product type this time we're going to use the product tags so what we'll do is um, we'll just select what we'll do is we'll create a collection of kind of my favorite records or some of my favorite records and we'll aptly name the collection records we are digging um, and so let's select a few so select El Michel's Affair, Fat Freddy's, Floating Points, Fortet, this uh, Giggling Techno record, uh, and Henri Texier, um, Pink Floyd for good measure as well um, and now what we can do is we can click on more actions, add tags uh, and I've created this tag uh, earlier so this digging tag um, so now we'll automatically um, add the tags to all those products. Of course, you can head into the actual product itself and tag it um, down here as well. But you can see the digging tags there. So now if we head back to our collections, we can create another one. Uh, we'll call this one records we are digging. Some of our favorite records, pun intended. Um, and then in this case, so we'll add another image, we'll add the digging image. And now we can use the product tag. So digging, save. And just like that, they're all added. So super easy. I mean, you can create some of like the common types of collections. You would see stores creating are like based on gender, based on like product type, you know, if you're a clothing store, you know, t-shirts or pants, seasonal, like based on the season. Um, but, you know, it really comes down to like what you're selling. Um, I do like curated collections as well like this. Um, but, you know, whatever you can think of, create a collection for it if you think it's going to be useful for your customers. You might have only have one collection, to be honest, you might have none. Um, but uh, yeah, they are a really good way of organizing your products. All right, so now that we've done that, um, what we're going to get started with is adding them to our actual template. So that's the back end side of things done. Now, um, we can, uh, what we'll do is we're going to add the collection categories here, and then we'll add our records we're digging featured collection uh, into this section here and we'll uh, delete the rest here. And what we'll also do is I'll show you how to add them to a nav bar as well. So let's get started with that. So first thing is we're gonna click online store um, and we're gonna click navigation and we're gonna edit our main menu. So the same could be applied to the footer menu as well if you wanted to add links in there, but for now we'll just do the main menu um, and we're gonna click add a menu item. Uh, we'll click all products we could add a link to it here, but because we're gonna make it like a nested drop-down menu, we don't really need to add a link there. Um, so close this, we'll click add, oh, okay. I take that back. So uh, even though I don't think that link will actually go anywhere, but we can do that to all collections. All right, now what we can do is we can add nested menu items. So we'll create one for our records collections records and then save and then what we do is to make it nested you would drag it and then you kind of just go into the right until that circle kind of moves over and that's going to make it nested 
Uh, now we can add to this menu here by clicking the plus here. So we'll do another one for, not products, sorry. Accessories. Actions. Just go cleaning. and turntables. Great, so we could also order them around. So maybe we want records, turntables, because that's probably our next most important category. Uh, accessories and record cleaning probably could have been the same collection, to be honest. Um, but we'll leave that like that. We'll click Save. And then we'll come back here. We'll give this a refresh. And it doesn't come up. <laughs> you know what, maybe I'll do it through this way. So we'll, sometimes it takes a second to come through. So we'll come in and customize our theme. So we'll click themes under online store um, and we'll click customize here. And there you go, so you can see it here. So it's come up and if we click, for example, records, it takes us to our beautiful record collection. Um, same for the turntable one we created just like that. So, and it has the description there, all part of the Dawn theme. So that's nice for the, the customer. They can click on the drop down, but you probably want to greet them um, with, you know, the, the collection straight off the bat without having to do anything. Um, so we'll head back to the home page, And what we'll do is let's just clean up a little bit. Um, oh, it looks like one is already there. I will remove that for now. All right, so let's clean up a bit first. Um, so, oh, my head's in the way here. I'll move, I'll move my head to the side here. So we'll remove this section, um, remove the video, uh, we'll move the collage. So featured and collections, perfect. Let's give that a save. Now, uh, on the side, so you can you can navigate whichever way you prefer. You can click on here, uh, or you can also click on the side. So we'll select the collections list, and um, let's see, can we choose how many? Yeah, so we had, let's do our four main product types over here. Um, so records. turntables and I can see that it's only showing three for some reason so we might need to try to figure that out oh sorry make sure you click save record select sorry down here um, then turntables and then let's go accessories okay now we need to figure out why a collection list? Ah, I think we might need to add one here. Let's click add collection here. Yep, perfect. <clears throat> and then record cleaning. Select. Cool. Save. Um, and if we give that a refresh here, yeah, that should be showing. Great. So yeah, our nav's now populated, so we can access them all here. Um, or we can come through here, click on records um, and, and see them all here. One more thing we'll do is we'll come back over here and we'll add our records we are digging featured collection. So let's call this uh, records we are digging and um, we'll select our collection. There it is. Um, we could add maybe I don't do we have eight products we had eight. perfect yep so we can show all eight products here um, of course we have more options that you can you can choose you know if you wanted to change the image sizing um, it's pretty customizable um, adding padding and a whole bunch of things but um, we don't need to get into that now um, let's click save 
and we'll come here, we'll give that a refresh. And if we have a look, there we are. So we're all set up and, and ready to go. Like all these will link to their product pages as well. Um, this store isn't live, but you know, if it was, you could add to cart and, and be selling straight away. Um, so yeah, that's basically the main kind of, yeah, the main basics, basically the main basics of collections. There are other, as we saw, product tags. Um, so they're very helpful for internal organization. They, they used to be more in the, in the old um, Shopify architecture. So before Dawn was released, they used to be more common in filtering on the front end. Um, but now you can't really filter with them, but that's probably more for another video. Uh, another option for organizing your products is using custom meta fields uh, to add custom properties to your products. Um, which can then be used for filtering, but again, for another video. But I hope this was helpful. Um, and yeah, if uh, you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and yeah, be sure to follow uh, and subscribe to our page, to Metrics page, uh, if you want more content like this. Thanks. Bye.